Hi there, welcome to Rumor Spill. In the shadows of Hollywood's sparkling lights, Chris Tucker's story unfolds like a mystery novel, tinged with unexpected turns and hushed whispers. Cat, a well-known figure in the comedy scene, recently dropped a bombshell in a viral interview, pulling back the curtain on some of the biggest names in the industry. It turns out that Tucker, famed for his role in Friday After Next, was among those caught up in this revelation, his journey interwoven with stars like Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, and Cedric the Entertainer. Once upon a time, Tucker might have thought rubbing shoulders with Hollywood's elite was his ladder to stardom. Little did he know that his association with controversial figures like Jeffrey Epstein would later cast a long, dark shadow over his early career. Cat, however, hints at a more complex narrative. Whispers in the industry suggest that Tucker's current predicament stems from being silenced by powerful figures. But what exactly did Cat spill, and why did Tucker step away from the limelight? Was his departure from Hollywood linked to his visit to Epstein's Island? These are the questions we're eager to unravel. For years, Cat has been the bearer of uncomfortable truths about the underbelly of Hollywood. His recent appearance on the Club Shay Shay podcast only cemented his reputation as a straight shooter. The conversation with Shannon Sharp veered into why audiences haven't seen another Friday film, dragging the names of industry heavyweights into the limelight. The original 1995 Friday film boasted a stellar cast, including John Witherspoon, Ice Cube, and Chris Tucker. Its sequel in 2000 was a hit, despite Tucker's absence. Fans, eagerly anticipating a third installment, were left wondering about Tucker's role in the franchise. Was Tucker asked to reprise his iconic role as Smokey in the sequel? There's a consensus that Friday wouldn't be the same without him. But the real question is, why wasn't he there? Cat sheds light on this, revealing unexpected reasons, including John Witherspoon's untimely passing in 2019. Cat's explanation goes beyond the loss of great talents like Tucker. According to him, the Chris Tucker we know today is not the same Chris who brought Smokey to life in the 1995 cult classic. It's a stark reminder of how time and circumstances can alter the paths of even the brightest stars. It's tempting to dismiss Cat's words as an attempt to cash in on a viral moment. However, the truth he speaks about Tucker's involvement with Epstein Island is chilling. Epstein's case shook the foundations of Hollywood, exposing the dark underbelly of this glittering world. American financier Jeffrey Epstein's arrest in July 2019 for heinous crimes, followed by his shocking suicide a month later, continued to make headlines. The revelations about his human trafficking rings sent ripples across the globe. Back in 2002, Tucker, along with former President Bill Clinton and actor Kevin Spacey, boarded Epstein's plane for a humanitarian mission in South Africa. This trip raises eyebrows, as Tucker was among the many high-profile individuals who visited Epstein's island. During this Africa trip under the Clinton Foundation, Tucker's presence alongside figures like Clinton and Spacey raised questions. What common ground did Tucker have with these individuals from vastly different worlds? The aftermath of the 2010 Haitian earthquake saw more allegations surface against Spacey. Meanwhile, Bill Clinton faced his own set of controversies, including sexual assault accusations and his involvement in a kidnapping case. These revelations cast a shadow over Tucker's association with them. Fans naturally questioned Tucker's intentions. Was his presence on Epstein's plane merely for humanitarian reasons, or was there more to it? Tucker's response in a 2021 interview with All Urban Central raised more doubts as he seemed to downplay his knowledge of traveling on Epstein's plane and his interactions with the controversial figures. Despite Tucker's attempts to clarify, fans remained skeptical, especially considering his laughter when questioned about his visit to Epstein's island. His denial was met with mixed reactions, with some pointing out his use of we when referring to himself and Epstein, suggesting a closer connection than he admitted. Recent developments have added fuel to the fire. The trial of Epstein's associate in Manhattan revealed that the plane Tucker boarded, dubbed the Lolita Express, was frequently used to transport underage girls and high-profile clients to Epstein's properties. 
Larry Vosai, the pilot, testified about the notable passengers on these flights, including Tucker, further implicating him in the scandal. In a twist worthy of a Hollywood thriller, a set of court documents released in March 2024 revealed the identities of over 150 celebrities and public figures who had visited Epstein's island. These names, long concealed, were finally brought to light by one of Epstein's most vocal accusers, Virginia Jeffrey. Among the still-redacted names were listers like Cameron Diaz, Bruce Willis, and, intriguingly, Chris Tucker. While Tucker has tried to distance himself from the island, these documents suggest a different story. Shant Davies, a former air hostess on the Lolita Express, corroborated this in the documentary Surviving Jeffrey Epstein. She recalled being on the flight with celebrities like Tucker, further fueling the speculation about his involvement. Photographs have also emerged, showing Tucker in the company of Epstein's staff. This, coupled with his known friendship with Michael Jackson, another name listed in Epstein's documents, paints a complex picture of Tucker's connections and choices. Despite Tucker's insistence that he never visited Epstein's island, many believe otherwise, suspecting that he witnessed disturbing events. This perception has altered the way fans view Tucker, with some theorizing that his departure from Hollywood was a reaction to the dark realities he encountered. Others, like Cat Williams, suggest Tucker might have made a Faustian bargain with the industry, ultimately paying a steep price for it. The debate over Tucker's silence on these matters is heated. Some argue that his failure to speak out, even as a bystander to potential misconduct, is as condemnable as his direct involvement. Examining Tucker's career trajectory lends credence to the theory that something derailed his rise to stardom. Tucker burst onto the scene in 1992 on Def Comedy Jam, quickly landing roles in movies like House Party 3. His breakthrough came with the role of Smokey in the 1995 hit Friday. This was a turning point for Tucker, who had been hustling across the country, seeking that next big opportunity. His stardom soared with the Rush Hour series, where he earned a staggering $20 million and $25 million for the sequels. It seemed like Hollywood was Tucker's oyster, but his post-Rush Hour career paints a different picture. One would expect a star of his caliber to have producers knocking at his door, yet Tucker's resume tells a story of unfulfilled potential. Tucker himself has offered explanations for his career choices. In a 2001 interview with The Morning Call, he spoke of taking a break from acting to travel the world. This hiatus, however, coincided with the time he was seen with Epstein, prompting speculation about the real reasons behind his career pause. Tucker's faith, too, played a role in his decisions. Raised in a Christian home, he rediscovered his spirituality during the filming of Money Talks. This newfound faith led him to move away from roles that didn't align with his beliefs, including turning down sequels and high-profile offers. Interestingly, Tucker made a comeback with the 2012 film Silver Linings Playbook. In an interview with Rolling Stone, he explained his selective approach to roles, choosing projects that genuinely interested him over lucrative offers. Tucker emphasized the importance of not chasing money but rather pursuing meaningful work. Yet, fans can't help but wonder if there's more to Tucker's story. His sudden decline in Hollywood, coupled with his brief association with Epstein, suggests there might be untold chapters in his narrative. His personal life, too, remains an enigma, with his marriage ending shortly after his trip with Epstein and subsequent relationships failing to last. In the end, the enigma of Chris Tucker continues to perplex and intrigue. His journey from comedic stardom to a more subdued presence in Hollywood raises questions that go beyond the choices of an actor. Was his involvement with Epstein's circle the catalyst for a drastic change, or were there other forces at play? As the saga unfolds, the true story of Chris Tucker remains shrouded in mystery, leaving us to ponder the intricate tapestry of choices, circumstances, and consequences that shape a life in the spotlight. Subscribe Rumor Spill for more videos.